And today we're showing you how you can take your logos and your presentations for your clients and really give them a whole new life. So let's hop in and talk about something new in Adobe Firefly, and that is scene to image. You can use a whole range of like 3D shapes to create your scene and it bases your generation off of that. What I did is I created a stick of butter, <laughs> right, magic, mm -hmm. and then typed in stick of butter on the counter. And once I had the angle that I wanted first for the butter, I just grabbed it and tilted it and created another version of it. And again, I just click generate here. It renders at this new angle and we wanted to see, will it create video between those two angles? So what I did here, the frame that is starting this is our right angle. The frame that is ending is the left angle. Yeah. And I put in stick of butter on a square plate on a black counter, rotating view. Watch what happened here. Wow. It's pretty That's good. That's cool. We tested that further. And so here, cartoon animated lion profile. We got some profiles on the left and some profiles on the right. And then I wanted to go between those two and look at how seamless this is. Wow. Let's hop over here. So this is a health and wellness company that I'm doing a brand for called Lighthouse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do the whole logo, I'm just gonna do this mark. And let's use this as a structure reference in Firefly to start to build things out a little more. I'm just going to export this. When I'm using text to image, I can use this composition <laughs> reference. So I turn the strength up, put in my composition reference, and then I said realistic lighthouse at night in a wooden frame with space and galaxies in the background. Oh, they already look so good. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're gonna download this one here. I want to go over to Photoshop. I want to have this be where it ends, but I need to give it the information for the starting frame, right? Yeah. Ooh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, another Firefly uh, piece here, and that is Generative Fill. So I'm just gonna click around this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to Generative Fill, and then we're just gonna hit Generate, and it should just remove that entire piece for me. Yeah. Here's first frame, there is nothing there, um, yeah. which is good. Um, and let's go ahead and save this. So I'm gonna go around this area here, take out this area so we just have the frame selected. Okay, so this is going to remove that frame for me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. perfect. Oh, it's perfect. All right, so let's come back into Firefly. Let's do the one with the lighthouse okay, first. Okay, let's do that, and then I want it to end with our final render, which is right here. Lighthouse with space and stars in the background in a wooden frame. Zoom, camera, angle. Here we go, ready? Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's do another thing. Uh, let's go into Photoshop. So Emily has this great mock-up of a bottle. So we're gonna generate a fill and I'm going to do slice of a pickle. There we go. Okay, great. Ooh. I'm gonna just add a couple more in here. I'm gonna merge this down so that it's just one layer. And then I'm going to use the object selection tool to select all of my objects. And there's a pickle. Let's go ahead and make that a layer. We have all of our individual layers here of the pieces. Mm -hmm. I'm going to save this. So now when I come over into Express, uh, I'm gonna keep that open, but we're gonna start from your content and just choose our pickle. So we're gonna have this uh, animate up. Mm -hmm. And then I think that we're gonna do the same for the pickles. And then this one we want to rise. Okay. So let's use this as the ending image. And then I'm gonna come back into Photoshop. I am going to grab that JPEG. I'm gonna select the bottle, then go to select inverse. And then I'm going to go to generative fill and we are going to do piles of pickles. Or lemons. Oh, actually? That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Insert into like the majority of this area and then let's go ahead and put in uh, lavender, lavender flowers. Then we'll download this and we'll do it as our beginning and end. Cute. So let's download this and then let's go into Firefly. Got it. Last frame, we want to be this version. And then we're going to do um, bottle on a lavender background. Zoom out with 
raindrops and lemon wedges falling from the top. <laughs> I'm, I'm You're asking for a lot this. here. I'm asking for so much right now. Uh, and this is going to be portrait. Uh, no, see. Okay. okay, go. Our animation of Peter Piper's pickled lemonade. Wow. Yes, and the lavender. And then it oh falls into the lavender. Oh my god, that was Oh, amazing. that was so good. Peter Piper's pickled <laughs> lemonade. That's really that cool. That is amazing. I love it. So thanks for joining us, everybody. Have fun. Go play around with it. And we will see you again.